Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Hello, guys. This is gonna be the quickest intro ever. Um, I am super excited for this video. I want to make a granny square bag. Um, you've probably seen them all over all over Pinterest. I want to make an evil eye one and a pink evil eye one because I haven't seen that before. If you have, let me know in the comments, please. Okay, so, um, sorry if you hear munching. <laughs> My dog is playing with a little bone. Okay, so I already made one, like a prototype. I just wanted to see how it turned out, how the colors look, the size and everything. It curls up a lot more than like any other granny square I made. So I'm hoping it'll be fine when I, you know, sew everything together, make it into the actual bag because it should straighten out like this, I hope. And so yeah, here are the colors. I got them all right here. This is all I have left for like the border. And I think I need to make 12. So uh, I don't know if it'll be enough, but we'll see. Um, here's the blue, black, and then here's the pink for the second bag. And I just wanted to show y'all my little like idea. Oh my god, what is that? Okay. So <laughs> I am really bad at <laughs> drawing and I was super excited to get started. So it's not good at all. But yeah, here are the squares. There's six on one side and then six for the other side. And I was going to make two for the sides. But since I don't have a lot of this yarn, I want to see how it'll look if I just connect these sides without making actual squares for the sides. Does that make sense? I don't know. Um, and then I need three for the bottom, of course. So I'll need 15 squares. And since I, I once again, I don't have a lot of this border color, I was thinking of just making the three bottom squares all in one color like maybe making the entire bottom just three plain granny squares with like this blue or maybe one of this one of this blue and then one of this again i don't know i'll see how i like it later and yeah here's my idea i think dark blue would look the best i'm not too sure the pink bag i want to make it smaller just because I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to get this over with, sort of, because I have so many other projects I want to get started on. So I want to just speed up the process and see how the pink bag would look. And if I like it, you know, maybe I'll make a bigger one. But this one, I'll just need 10 squares, four for each side, and then two for the bottom. And once again, I was thinking of making the two bottom squares one single color just to make the process go quicker. And I was thinking about making a bottom all white or a pink or maybe like uh, on and off one row pink, one row white. I don't know. Once again, I'll see how I like it later. This was my first. There's so many mistakes to the point where I think what I'm going to do is just felt good. After a couple of days, I actually liked it. I also want to point out that nothing here has been blocked. EJ check. God, that was kind of scary. I'm sorry, EJ. I'm sorry. No, but it was so simple to make, and it's so cute. I'm trying to rush because my son's about to die. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come in here real quick and say that I did not really like give any tutorials on how to make this bag. So I don't know if y'all would be interested in that. If so, just let me know in the comments, please. And maybe I can make another video where, you know, I'm actually giving these steps and telling y'all how to actually make this bag. That's all I really had to come in and say. Sorry about not putting any steps in or, you know, helpful tips. Um, I usually don't do that in my videos just because I don't really think like people will want to know so if y'all do just please let me know maybe I can start doing that in my future videos also thank you and let's get back to the video
looking through my yarn real quick and I found this light blue that I actually wanted to use. Um, instead of this darker blue, I didn't really like it. And I knew I had this, I just couldn't find it. So I finally found it. I'm going to use that now. And this one is very like scratchy and rough. I think it's Walmart yarn. So I'm going to get rid of this. And while I was looking through my yarn, I actually got rid of of a lot of yarn look at all of this i got rid of there's more hidden under there i have like my blanket yarn at the bottom i have some like uh mandela yarn there's like three of those but different colors acrylic yarn and this is all cotton yarn and i'm adding this one to the stack now and I usually just sell all my yarn. I don't even know where to put this. Let's try this. <laughs> I put all my yarn on Facebook Marketplace. So yeah, I don't know <laughs> if any of y'all are looking for a cheap yarn. That is where I usually put it. It is usually gone the same or next day though because I put it for really cheap. Um, like eight dollars, eight or seven bucks for like six or more balls, which is really good. Here is my yarn right now, it's a bit messed up. I need to make another yarn organization video, but that will be later.
is I went around the evil eye with the white. There is 15, 14 of them. This is the 15th one is right there. It is looking very beautiful and big. Wow, look how many. And now I am going to go around in the dark blue. All right, let's get started. I did run out of this tan yarn and I had to use a darker brown so one side is gonna be you know this color and then the other side is gonna be this tan color so yeah now it is time to sew all of these pieces together in the shape of the purse so let's see how long that takes me okay so I sewed these squares together this is gonna be like the bottom but I forgot one I guess I miscounted I don't know um, here is the back panel I ran out of this tan yarn <sighs> so this is the closest oh, sorry Jay this is the closest color I could find let me sew another square and I will be back.
Okay. So I finished it. Um there is a good amount of mistakes like this one I used the wrong yarn. This one oh my god. This one I put I sewed on inside out. Ends. EJ. EJ loves it. I guess that's all that matters, right? Okay, let's go. I did not know it was gonna have this effect where the bottom is bigger and as you go up, it like goes in, you know? Woo! Okay, here is the finished look. Um, I don't like how I did not make squares for this side because look how flat it looks. Um, yeah, whoever put sides on the first granny square purse is a genius. Um, okay, so I completely forgot to show the whole entire process of me making a pink bag, but here it is. I'm almost done. I just once again miscounted and forgot two squares for the side. And of course, I didn't record, so here it is finished with the sides, the straps, and all. I accidentally made one eye blue for some reason, but it kind of looks cute. A whole bag like that with the pink outline would be really cute. I'm actually still finishing the straps. I just wanted to show y'all at least some part of me making it. And I love how it's like a net construction, kind of like a market bag, a beach bag, you know, at the top. I think that's really cute. Like, ah, look at that. It's so pretty and airy. And here's the straps. I'm just making them a bit thicker, like I said. Sorry for EJ in the background. She's always hyper. Ah, okay, here it is finished. Once again, I have a miscolored patch i thought the dark pink would look cuter but i like the lighter pink after all okay if i can get the purse in shot okay i put i put some yarn in it just to make it look like a bit stuffed so you would see what the sides look like with objects you know actually in there and yes it looks nice it's so much better with the side squares it doesn't look so flat look how pretty it looks oh i love the blue eye so much i think i should make another bag with all blue eyes okay so i just wanted to add this part in real quick um excuse my clothes i was in my pjs and this last part was last minute I wanted to show all the three Starburst bags I made. I should have showed them or showed you that first one at the very beginning, but it was a scrap yarn bag and that inspired me to make that blue evil eye one. And then here is the last one, the pink one, which I think might be my favorite. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.